All right, EPI clutch kit for the Can-Am Defender. Um, I've been going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to put a clutch kit in this. Um, I've been reading on Facebook, a lot of the guys were saying they were running pretty big tires without doing any clutch work at all. Uh, like up to 35s or something like that, but it must just be a different style of riding than we do here. We do a lot of trails still, a lot of back roads, kind of higher speed stuff. and. I was a little bit torn and this is a work bike at heart and I do push snow with it and stuff so I didn't want to make it too aggressively clutched but uh, after I don't know if it was after adding accessories if the weight came up obviously with a little bit bigger tires these are a 30 inch carnivore um, I wasn't getting rpm as high a rpm on my clutch shift out you guys will see that in the clip I posted a couple of pre-runs um, not sure if the springs weakened up, if uh, the weight come up on the bike. But anyways, I decided after talking to the guys at EPI that I would try out one of their mudder kits. Um, that's the number there and they, EPI has some good videos about what it takes to put the kit in. So I'm not going to go into that, but um, I went ahead and put it in, put the lighter spring on. Carnivores are kind of on the light end for a 30, so they do have one heavier secondary spring still in a kit that I haven't used but I've got a few rides in on it now and um, it's it's exactly what I wanted it's uh, I've got all my rpm back and a little bit more uh, I didn't lose any top speed on the thing at all still governs out at the same top speed I actually think the clutch engagement's smoother off the bottom it doesn't it's not as jumpy as it used to be it's nice and smooth um, what else much better throttle response and four wheel drive on the trails and stuff. Uh, it holds low a little longer. It feels like it holds the gearing a little low a little longer. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. If anybody's thinking about, you know, put a little bit bigger tire on their bike and thinking about a clutch kit or just missing some RPM and feels like it could have a little, be a little peppier. Mine kind of felt like it was always in eco mode or, tra or in work mode or something after a while. It just felt like it didn't have what it used to. So. This definitely cleaned it up and uh, I'll, I put a couple zero to 60 pictures in the video too here, but taken with a grain of salt, it's just a free app on the app store. So I don't know how accurate they are, but it definitely feels quicker. Um, more, more throttle response, like I said. So you guys are thinking about it. I, there's a definitely a good mod for the money in my opinion. So yeah, that's about that. Thanks.